ready? One, two, three. That's perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> Why do we always get so smiley when we're about to do our clap? I don't know. I think because we're excited to record. And this last time I got all smiley because um, I was just thinking about last week whenever you were mm -hmm. like, it's mm -hmm. good every time. It's fine. You don't have to ask me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just preparing myself to ask you again. Hi. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome back. This, this is, is Bucky Booze. Bucky Booze. <laughs> I'm Hope. I'm Julie. And today we are going to drink. Yes, thank God. You know what? The last few times, the last time, the last few times we haven't been asking what we're into because we're so focused on getting that drink because life is so hard. We've been doing what are you into after kind of. Okay. Well, let's do, let's keep this going and drink first. <laughs> Okay, I tried so hard to find the booze or loose this week, but I couldn't find it. So I will be trying New Belgium Fat Tire Amber Ale because I thought it would be a close match. Uh, I'm drinking New Belgium Wild Ride. It's so cute. So John Mayer-esque. Um, it's okay, a special pause. 30th. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so. so this is the Wild Ride. It's a 30th anniversary Amber Ale. It's 7% and it's gorgeous. Yeah, I don't know the percentage on this one. It kind of oh, looks 5. like a Coke. Right? Doesn't it kind of look like It does look, look like, Coke. like Coke a little bit. Mine is oh. not Coke. Let's try it. Cheers. I was going <laughs> to bang the screen. Like in a sexual way. <laughs> it smells delicious. Like, so good. I didn't even smell mine. I just drank it. It tastes good, too. It's super, super, <laughs> super hoppy. Really? Mm hmm It's great, though. I like it. I don't know if mine's super hoppy, but it is super delicious. It's like a good medium kind of beer. <coughs> um, I need to tell you guys something. So I put my eyebrows on and mascara on for work today but my lips like I was like I need to put some lipstick on but I got this lip gloss this pigmented lip gloss um a couple days ago and it's a plumping gloss but I was like whatever it'll be fine like I'm I'm doing it for the pigment for the camera <laughs> and it actually is the exact same color as my lips exact 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 same <laughs> so I'm just um going through the tingle sensation for literally no reason. Well, what if it makes your lips bigger? So? I don't know. I can see the shine on them, though. That's yeah, I good. see the shine, but... I have, like, a nude lip gloss on. It's, like, clear. And that's I it. This... I didn't wear any makeup. I have this really pretty lip gloss that I bought. I haven't worn it yet, but it's nude, and I can't wait to wear it. Well, it's not nude. It's clear. Okay. What are you in? Oh, so these were boozes. Yeah, they're boozes. We, we keep forgetting to say it when they're good. Like we're when like, they're bad, good. we're like such a lose, disgusting cunt hole. <laughs> but yeah, these um, are boozes. I would recommend. I want you to open the text. Mm. I will put yes. a picture of this text up. It is my favorite thing I found on Twitter, and you're gonna laugh. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Me too. That's so when cute. Geez. I called my grandparents yesterday um, and I asked my grandpa, how are you doing? And he said, I think I'm doing all right. In my opinion, I'm doing okay. <laughs> and I was like, in your opinion? He's like, yeah, I don't know what anyone else would say about me, <laughs> but I think I'm doing fine. I love that. It was so I, inspiring. That, that's like my mom. I texted my mom, you guys. I was like, I sent her an old picture that I found of her from when we were like having dinner together. And I was like, you look so pretty. And then she said, newsflash, I'm always pretty. And I was like, that's <laughs> like that energy that I love. It's so good. Mm -hmm. mm. I love her. Okay, what are you into? Okay, first of all, the weather. Oh my God. Yes, the like, fucking weather. Girl, it's so 
delicious, nutritious, mm-hmm. like you feel that on your skin and it feels so good. The one bad thing though, is I just remembered that when I got my car back from it being like whatever broken and shit, I got it back in like, I want to say October. So it was cold and uh, I used the heat. One day in October, we had like some warmth. So I turned the AC on and it wasn't really blasting like it used to. And I was like, fuck, my AC must like be broken. Something must be wrong with it from it sitting for so long or whatever the hell. But then I forgot about it because it was cold for forever. Now that it's warm, I think my AC is broken. So I can't, I'm just sitting cold. I mean, hot in my car. So now I'm gonna have to go take my car, but it was a perfect time for it to go out like in winter. Um, But now that it's warming up, that sucks. Oh, and I'm also 22. So (laughs) almost, (laughs) yes, (laughs) you're almost 22. Are you so excited? I already got you a gift. (laughs) You're so fast. I haven't even thought about anything. Um, I mean, I'm kind of excited, but also like, not too much, you know, like my first, my big birthday already passed. And uh, I was really going to go like full blown, like ball out for this birthday because of what happened to me last year. And I still can't do that. So maybe at 23, I'll celebrate my 21st the right yeah. way. <laughs> and that's like the Blink-182 song, like nobody likes you when you're 23. So you can just um, be belligerent and crazy. Go ahead. Okay. What are you into? What are you into? Um, I'm also into the weather. Hunter and I took Gnarly to the park on Sunday, which started out great until she started like convulsing and her head was bobbling like this. So that was terrifying, but all is well. She threw up and drank a ton of water and now she's fine. Good. So yeah, that's all I've been into because I was just so fucking stressed. I couldn't think about anything else, Mm -hmm. (laughs) but I'm glad it's over and I'm glad that we still have good weather to enjoy. Yeah. I think, I think it's going to be raining this weekend, but then I think it's just like a couple days and then it's back. To- oh, and this weekend I'm going over to my grandparents' house and I'm going to record like old stories from my family and stuff. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, my grandparents are really old. So I just want to get all those stories out there and then I'll have something like their voice always. That's such so a good idea. Yeah. I'm going to release it and let like my family listen to it and stuff. That's and maybe they'll so pass good. it down and like all the great, great, great grandkids will know about our family. So that'll be cute. Mm-hmm. Okay. We have a really fun episode today. It's kind of just taking a walk, like a <coughs> stroll down memory hill. Memory hill? Yeah, because we're talking it's memory about- memory lane. What? It's memory lane. <laughs> Is it? Are you sure? <laughs> yes. I know I always get these things mixed up. <laughs> But on this one, I am 100% positive it is memory lane. (laughs) Why did I say that? Memory hill? I don't know. I've never heard of a memory hill. (laughs) That's so bad. That's so embarrassing. Anyways, we're going to go down memory lane. (laughs) Um, And the way that we're going to be doing that (laughs) is just... We're just going to be talking about trends and stuff that just made zero to no sense. Wait, little to little, little to no sense. Little to zero sense. (laughs) They didn't make sense. Okay. That's all we have to say about that. These are my note cards. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Show us your note cards. These are mine, my notes, my noty notes, my terrible handwriting. I wrote, I wrote down trends that I liked and didn't like, and the ones that I participated in and didn't. I just wrote down trends that I could remember (laughs) off the top of my head. Okay. Do you want to start? So yeah, I can start. I like when I thought about the trends and stuff, it's kind of crazy how back then, like even just like five to 10 years ago, trends were different. And I guess the age of the internet really sped it the fuck up because like, I remember, you remember the Harlem shake? 
Yes, I wrote it down. Okay, so people were doing that for a while. It was like a few months that people were doing it. Mm -hmm. But now you'll see a meme like on Twitter and like before even one week, that meme is old. You know what I mean? That's true. Like the SpongeBob mocking meme. Yeah, it's so crazy. So so you did the Harlem Shake? Um, My cheer team did the Harlem Shake. I loved that one. I thought it- I like that one. Oh no, you're cutting out. Hope, can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah, that one was fun. (laughs) Yeah, I did that one in middle school. It it was kind of stupid, but it was like still fun. You know, I guess Mm -hmm. all trends are kind of stupid. Yeah. Let's see what else I wrote about it. Oh, I also like thinking about the Harlem Shake and I guess any trend, it reminded me about like TikTok and how TikTok really like exemplifies like one person will do something funny or cool and then everyone will use that sound and just do the exact same joke Mm -hmm. like over and over and over again until it's like you're beating a dead horse. It's not funny anymore. Yeah. So that's what sucks about trends is like they're really awesome at first and then like they just suck. Yeah, Never that was again. that was such a good time though. You know what's super know. similar to the Harlem Shake is the mannequin challenge. Mm. That mm-hmm. one was like the same vibes. Yeah, we didn't do that. Thing. This is one that I didn't write down. I don't know if this was a trend everywhere, but it was a trend like in my school district, where like the entire school would make a video. And so it started out like, I think we had the Beastie Boys and a couple other songs and like the camera would just go down the entire school and you'd have all the teams and everyone cheering. And then at the very end, there was like some crazy loud song playing and everyone was just like going crazy. Did your school ever do anything like that? Pap. Um, did my school ever, I don't remember. I don't remember. I feel like you probably because they canceled classes for us. Like we all got out and did it the entire school. No, not that I can remember. Um, that one I did like. That one I thought was super cool. Okay, you know, okay, something that was super huge was the cup song. Oh yeah, crazy I did that in like fourth grade. Like before, like years before that movie came out, we all would do that. We didn't have a song that goes with it. We just did like the thing Uh and it was so fun. And then that song came out and I was like, oh, I remember this. And everyone's like, no, you don't. That was a thing, like the stacking cup thing. Like they used to have competitions for that. Like, yes, how fast, like I had some. (laughs) Yeah, that was crazy. I saw, I saw like those videos at school or like we had some kid come to my school and like show us how good he was at it. And I was like, I have to get those cups. Those (laughs) will make me so cool. Look how fast I can stack them. That was a weird, I forgot about the cup stacking. Mm -hmm. Here's another Um, good one though. Yeah. Since you were talking about things you forgot. Do you remember the song? What does the Fox say? Oh, Yes. I had just remembered that and that made me want to kill myself. Just the thought. Oh, that was such a weird time. Yeah. What does the fox say was like a really weird one. Mm -hmm. And then let's see. Oh, fucking planking. Yes. What the fuck? Planking was so weird. Like there was no fun or excitement or like humor (laughs) to it. Yeah, you were just like sitting like straight <laughs> on random shit. I didn't like, what I was didn't the get point it. of that? And some of them even got dangerous. Like people yeah. were doing them at like the top of buildings and getting hurt. Really dangerous stuff. I, I just, I could not. I mean, yeah, I, there's planking. a bunch that I couldn't get behind, but that one made like the, <laughs> like the least amount of sense. Yeah, planking was fucking weird. I, I didn't get that one. Another one that I did not like. Um, the ice challenge. Oh, that was like for charity, I thought. There, but did anyone what? actually donate charity, like donate when they did the ice bucket challenge? No, I think it was for awareness. Like that's what people oh. were doing for awareness. But I feel like, I mean, we were young. So 
I guess, but there's a lot better ways to spread awareness mm -hmm. about. Because I mean, you get tagged in the ice bucket challenge. It's like ice bucket challenge for this cause. Like you're not gonna look up the cause. You're just gonna participate yeah. and then tag more people in it. I get what they were trying to do, but at the same time, it didn't. Uh, it it, didn't, yeah. It's just so uncomfortable. Like I got tagged in it like a million times. There's no fucking way in hell I'm going to. There's no way in hell. Another one that I thought about was Tide Pods. Yeah, that was which, weird. It was so weird because it started out as like a joke, like mm, Tide Pods look yummy. And that was like a joke because it's like, yeah, oh my God, this bright, squishy thing. It's like a gusher. Yeah. Forbidden That's snacks. That's funny. It was just, yeah, it was just a joke. Yeah. And there's always these people that come in and ruin them by thinking like, oh, I'm going to be hilarious and actually do it. When it's like, dude, no, no one thought that would be funny if you did that. Mm -hmm. Now you just look stupid and you ate a fucking Tide Pod like an idiot. That's the younger generation. Yeah. They're so, they're just dumber than we are. <laughs> Have you seen those cringy ass videos of millennials being like, so Gen Z is canceling this? Yes, that's so embarrassing. Oh, like, shut up. It's fucking so work cringe. Roll over it's your exactly 401k, what... bitch. <laughs> like, know. come on. It's exactly what the boomers did. And it's just like, you really thought this would be cool you thought and like i don't know i fall in the middle of like millennial and gen z i guess because i was born at the very end of 1996 so i don't know but i do not claim those millennials i think they're gross and cringe <laughs> and then these celebrities that are like washed up are yeah. posting like sorry about my side part gen z and it's like, ew, you're just, <gasps> ew. You're irrelevant. What? What? It's okay. He's so cute. I'm going to kill myself. Every time <laughs> I look at him in, in those eyes. Anywho. Um, uh, my favorite. This? Oh. Go ahead. I was going to say the cinnamon challenge. Yes, that one was so fucking dumb. That one was um, My dad I told me. One. He was like, do not do this. And I was like, okay, I won't do it. My favorite trend, um, which isn't really, well, it's kind of a trend, is the fidget spinner. Oh, yeah. Love those shits. I lost mine yeah. or broke it, but I need to get another one because those are amazing. I went, like, when I was a freshman in college, I had a psychology class, and we would get extra credit if we went to, like, this psychology convention, which – is really for like practicing people because I think every so often you have to take classes and like keep up your certification or something like that. But they had all these goodie bags for, for like the therapists and psychologists to like take and they had a ton of fidgets, like random shit that you could twist or, you know, just uh -huh. like a fidget spinner. I love those things. Those yeah. are awesome. That's the best one. That one should stay. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Let's see. What else? What I got? Okay, I guess I should ask you this question. Do you remember the dress? The blue and black dress? The white and gold dress? <laughs> yeah. What color did you think it was? I saw both. I couldn't. I only saw white and gold, and I remember getting so heated. When somebody said that it was like blue, I was like, you are just out of your mind. I saw both. Cause I think I initially saw white and gold and then some, no, that's blue and black. And then my eyes like adjusted to the lighting and I was like, oh, it is blue and black. And that it actually is crazy in real life, blue and black. <laughs> and there's a shoe that's like that too. That's I like saw the shoe. gray and white or pink and, or gray and blue and pink and white. I could see yeah. the colors, like both colors on things that came out after that. Cause I think they were easier, yeah. but that one, that I was damn dressed. Like that, <laughs> I, that one was crazy. It was um, all over the internet. Yeah. And that one stayed for a while too. Yeah. Do you remember? Um, but obviously you do. I wish I wouldn't have said that. Um, but 20 what? But when everyone thought the world was going to end in 2012. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know why I said, do you remember? Yeah, because that's the day me and Hunter met. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because the world was going to end on... I thought that's why you're saying, oh, obviously you remember that. Oh, no. But the world was said to end, like, December 21st, 2012. Mm-hmm. And that is... I went to a show. It was called the End of the World Show. And just like my friend's bands were playing and Hunter was there and that's how we met. Then we started I, dating a year later. I was so sad because that was Dasha's birthday and I was like, oh my God, I hope it does not end on her birthday. Like that'd be terrible. <laughs> so. I never thought the world was going to end. Um, I wish it would though. Yeah. It should have ended last year. It should have ended in 2012. Those were good times. I guess that's true. When I've had to go through any of this. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Did you ever have feathers in your hair? Oh my God. No, but I wanted them so bad. I loved them. I had feathers in my hair, girl. I was looking so hot. My parents like, so the feathers in the hair was a trend. Like when I was in middle school, I thought they were so cool. I really wanted some, but before that people would get like yarn like braided into their hair as and it was like a twist it was like a total like circle I guess of just yarn wrapping around the hair and I wanted that too that was before the feathers but that shit was so cool to me I never saw that I loved them did you ever um this is off topic but whatever you know those little like plasticky keychain things that everyone used to make where it was like four pieces of this plastic yes those are my favorite things ever I literally spent most of my life on those oh my god I spent so long making those I had like a lime green and like bright blue one that I Uh thought was like the best color scheme in the world I thought it looked so cool oh we should make some we should because those are so fun (laughs) I remember how proud I was when I finally learned how to start one I learned because my parents used to take me to all these summer like clubs and stuff because I was I just because I wouldn't talk to anybody and they like pushed me into going to shit like that but it paid off because I learned how to start one (laughs) yeah it really paid off I was so that makes that makes me think (laughs) of like when I was a kid my parents worked all the time and were super busy and I didn't know how to tie my shoes and that's how I learned was my mom was just like, figure it out. And so I just like, she was like, figure it out yourself. I'm busy. And so I just sat there and tied my shoe. I, I knew how. Did I tell you I about learned. the, did I tell you about the dream that I had? Which one? The one when I was in Italy that was groundbreaking. No. Okay. It must've <laughs> been like that sweet, creative European air that I was breathing in. Mm -hmm. But so up until I was 18, I only knew how to tie my shoes with the two bunny ears. Okay. (laughs) Did you have a dream telling you how to tie your shoes? I swear to God, Hope, I had a dream on vacation. Okay. I was in Italy, so it felt even crazier. And I, and I learned in my dream how to tie my shoe the other way. So then I woke up and I went to do it and I could do it. Oh my God. Isn't that crazy? That actually is crazy. That's so, (laughs) I taught myself in my sleep. I can tie shoes in my sleep. That's cool. (laughs) I know. So that was like the craziest thing. I never learned how to do the bunny ears thing until I was like in high school. Really? I never, yeah, I never tied it like that. Cause I taught myself the other way, I guess. I guess that's true. And so wow. that was the way I knew it worked. <laughs> We're some shoe tying bitches. I know. It's crazy. Like Who we knew? should enter a contest as a team. Well, I feel like, like me, I was never taught how to tie a shoe and I just invented how to tie a shoe. You didn't invent In my it. mind. Yeah, but I'd never done it before. And okay. you had never been able to tie a shoe that way. And in your mind, it told you how that's to tie a shoe why the other we're way. friends that it hold on hold be. on hold on that doesn't on. mean nothing that doesn't just hold. mean nothing that means something hold on okay what if you learned how to tie your shoes when you were a kid right the universe 
let you figure it out and put it in your brain. He has to say on the things that make noise. And then you had to wait until I was much older than you, a young adult, to learn how to tie my shoe in my head. And then like, like that means everything. That it means it's come something. full circle. That's why we exist and this exists and everything because of the shoe tying what in the if, brain. What if when I tied my shoes, it was exactly that amount of time after that you had that dream come to you? What do you mean? <laughs> like I was six when I tied those shoes. I was 18. If, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say we took that. it too far. <laughs> yeah, we can't try to like uncover all of uh, life secrets. I mean, mm -hmm. the world throws crazy stuff at us. We're just out here delivering yeah. the message. It's the shoelace world, and I'm just living in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Give okay. me another trend. Let's okay. Go. Okay. What about this? Crackle nails. Oh my god! I forgot about those. I loved those. I loved so them so much. I love. I them. thought it was so cool because I had I would put blue under my nails and then I had like black crackle. On yeah, top. I like the black I like, crackle. I remember I so cool. like my uh, she was one of my friends. Morgan had crackle on, and I was like, "What's that?" And she was like, "It's crackle," and I was like, "What's that?" And then I loved them, so I was like, "Mom." please. I need to get crackle nail polish. So she took me and I got it. And my mom's like, that's so ugly. I was like, how dare you? This is fashion. I was like, this is fashion. Yeah, my mom said it was fashion. And now I see where she was coming from. She was looking out for me, but uh, they were badass <laughs> in the moment. Benji's they were in the eat. moment. Maybe we should bring them back. No. Um, <laughs> I have all my land sharks here from last week and Benji's trying to eat them. Are they not in the fridge? No, I just left because I brought the pack in here and then I just put them on the ground after I finished. Um, okay, let's see what else I got. Okay, do you remember? I don't I don't know if it's the neon or nyan cat. Yes. Pop tart cat. That like, used to be my favorite fucking thing. It was like hours of just the same exact thing. I feel like I can hear the song in my head. And I haven't listened to this since I was like tiny. Ooh, watching iCarly reminded me of Fred. I was obsessed with Fred. Like me and my sister, and my dad watched it every fucking day. Like he, <laughs> I want to watch it so bad again. So fucking funny. I don't care. I, yeah, I liked Fred too. And then someone was like, Fred's too. It might have been my brother because, you know, I wanted to be just like him when uh -huh. I was a kid. He might have been like, that's stupid. And I was like, yeah, Fred's stupid. And so I pretended <laughs> like I didn't like him, but I did. I loved him. And a cringy one that I'm admitting to, no. I really loved the annoying orange. No, I knew you were going to say <laughs> that. I fucking I did. cannot. I and that was another one that, that I was like, bitch. you're right. It's annoying. But now, I mean, obviously they're both stupid and annoying. Uh, the but annoying orange. Like the uh, annoying orange, I thought was so funny. <laughs> I can't get behind you on that one, but I respect you as a woman, as a female. My bad. Um, as a female, I, I had something in my head, and that's gone because you brought up the annoying orange oh. and totally disturbed my peace. Sorry, I disturbed your peace. <laughs> Why is that funny? It's just stupid. <laughs> you totally disturbed my peace. You did, because I was at ease. What was I going to say? And it was going to be the best thing I've said all night. The Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Oh, my God. That one was crazy. You remember that? Mm -hmm. People would have bruises all around their mouth because they were, like, sucking on cups to make their lips bigger. Yeah, that one was I never stupid. tried that. I never did that one. Because I saw afterwards, like I wanted to try it, but then I saw afterwards everyone was bruised and that's embarrassing. Yeah, it looked so gross. Yeah. And then remember how she tried to say that she didn't get lip filler 
she was like no these are natural it's like honey you looked like me yeah you didn't have any lips and now you have lips just say you did it huge ones Uh, just looking at that little picture gordo working so hard (laughs) let's Let's go you You don't don't have have to go home home. but you can't say you can't say it (laughs) okay what's yours Okay, mine is from Steven Universe because I've been so obsessed with this show lately. It's so good. It says, you're, mm, it doesn't say that. It <laughs> says, you are an experience. Make sure you're a good experience. And that's from Garnet, who's that's my cute. favorite character. I love that. Um, mine is not as good. <laughs> Benji, don't bite me. <laughs> it says, sometimes I drink water to surprise my liver. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh man, it's our podcast. Oh man, I love baby dogs. All right, well, <laughs> everyone, um, follow us on Instagram at Bucky Boost Podcast. Follow us on Twitter at Bucky Boost Pod. Rate us five stars on Apple and follow us on Spotify. And check out our website, BuckyBoost.Square.Site, for merch and discount codes. And. Love you guys. Love you, Hope. (laughs) Don't hang up. Love you. Bye.